Hi, this is Rick, and this is my game, Bubble Cupid. It's a puzzle shooter game in the vein of Puzzle Bobble or Bubble Shooter. Basically, the goal is to try and get three in a row of any of these bubbles by you know, using your Cupid down here to shoot the bubbles up there. Uh, the bubbles kind of descend slowly at first, and for each level, you're trying to knock off this level up bubble to get to the next level. I also have bombs here. You can trigger these bombs to explode by removing all the bubbles around them. That'll cause them to blast five bubbles horizontally in each direction. Also, there are these gray rock-like bubbles here. Uh, you have to destroy them by removing all of the bubbles around them. To get them to fall, you can't hit them with one of your bubbles. I'm going to unpause it and show you how to play. So... You shoot the bubbles of the same type, and if there's three or more in a row, it destroys all those bubbles, popping them down. You're just trying to clear your way through the level. Now that I'm getting up to these gray bubbles that you can't shoot, you have to kind of work your way around them. There's destroying some indestructible bubbles there. Gray ones, you have to get all the bubbles around them to get them to fall. And level up. Now we can go to the next level, and each level is different. Uh, right now I've got five levels. I do plan on adding more soon, but each level, level has a different shape and is a different puzzle for you to work your way through. Now I'm going to blow up a bomb here. That should blow up the bomb next to it. It destroys a whole row of uh, bubbles there. Also, I have a full screen button here that will expand the gameplay area to fill your full screen. To get out of full screen mode, you can either hit escape or there. this will turn into a window button, which you can also hit. This is the third level. As I said, each level is a little bit different. They get more and more challenging. Also down here, you can see it shows you the next three bubbles that you'll be able to shoot. So you can kind of plan your strategy out. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I just kind of fire without really thinking about what I'm doing. Also, you can shoot a bubble off this pillar here if you need to get angles in some of these bubbles over here. Boom. Also, keep in mind this line here is the line below which the bubbles cannot pass. If they do, the game is over, and you can't fire a bubble. If you try and fire a bubble too low, it, it won't let you click, and it just won't do anything. So you got to kind of fire up. I'm just going to lose here to show you how that works. If your bubbles drop below this line, the game is over. And if you like my game, feel free to click on this link here and give me a five-star review. I appreciate all the help you can give me. Thank you very much.